Hey friend, welcome to this training. If you are using a third party service like StreamYard, BeLive, or even Zoom to stream live a broadcast into your Facebook group, then you probably already know that come April 22nd, Facebook has revoked access to those services for streaming inside of groups. It's still available for personal profiles and for business pages, just not for groups. So what's gonna happen? Can you still use those services? Absolutely. Should you still use those services? I think so. I think those tools provide value far beyond streaming into a group. I love that I can record on those tools and download and save them to repurpose them in other places very easily. I love that I can use those tools to stream into other places like pages or a professional profile. So I do think those tools still have value. So let's take a look at how going forward in April, you might use those same tools to continue streaming inside of your groups. Let's go. Let's get started by taking a look at StreamYard. Now, when we're inside of StreamYard, you probably are very familiar with the panel on the left that identifies your destinations. When I click on destinations, you'll see that it is already connected to a variety of places on Facebook and even Instagram. Starting in April, when you come into StreamYard to do a live broadcast, you won't be able to stream into a group directly by simply clicking on the group that you're connected to. Instead, we're going to have to create what's called a custom RTMP. Let me walk you through how you're going to create that. Once this is created, instead of selecting the group that you would normally select here, for example, instead of selecting Social Tech Academy Facebook group, I instead will select the group that's associated with the custom RTMP. So let me walk you through how we're going to create this. First, I will click on Add Destination. You have a menu of places you can stream to. We're going to select this one in the bottom right that says Custom RTMP. And you'll notice it's asking for some very specific information, a server URL, a stream key, and a nickname. I would give this nickname the name of your group so that you know which custom RTMP this is. So we'll call this Devs Test Group. Now, where would I get these two key pieces of information? Well, let's jump over to Facebook and I'll show you where to find it. Here inside the Facebook group, if I click on write something as if I'm going to create a post, I'll click on my three dots and I'll click on live video. The screen that pops up gives me a prompt to either go live or to create a live video event. In this case, we're going to select go live. Don't worry, we're not live yet. On the left side of your screen, you'll notice that Facebook is giving you three things that you need to complete before you can go live. So first we have to connect the video source, which is StreamYard. If I scroll down, you'll see it highlights by default streaming software. And let's go down a little further. Here is that stream key that StreamYard was looking for. Let me click on advanced settings and I'll go down and you'll see the server URL. If I click on persistent stream key, this will just reuse that same stream key every time. So I don't ever have to worry about changing it. So let me click on persistent stream key. Then I will click copy of the stream key up here. And let me go back into StreamYard where it says stream key and I'll paste that stream key that I just copied. So that's the stream key. Let's go back into Facebook and under that advanced setting at the bottom, you'll see where it says server URL. I'm going to copy this server URL, go back into StreamYard, and I'll paste it right here. Server URL, paste. And I will click Add RTMP Server. So now this is my new destination that was connected. So if I go to Destinations and I scroll down, I'll see here's my Debs Test Group Custom RTMP Broadcast. So I'll create, I'll do a live stream. And now it's saying which destination. Remember, we're not going to use those groups. We're going to come down here and look for the custom one I just made, Deb's test group. This should all look familiar because we have to do this currently where you have to give it a title. And it's creating this stream. 
you're entering the studio. Here we are. I'll enter the studio here. I'll add myself to the stage. Now, at this point, I'm still not live in the group. Before I can be live on Facebook, I first have to be live inside of whatever this third party tool is. So whether it's StreamYard or BeLive or Zoom, you have to be live here and then it will push that data over to Facebook. So we're gonna go live here. So it says I'm live, but if I go over to Facebook, I'm still not live, you'll notice, because we still have two more things that we have to complete. So now the video, because I'm live in StreamYard, it's showing that it's connected to the video source. But that's okay, I'm not, I'm not broadcasting to Facebook yet. I still need to complete the post details, which will be over here on the right. I have to say what my broadcast is about. So this will just be a test and a test. And I'll save that. And you'll notice it gives that green check mark. And so now I'm ready to go live. So when I click go live now inside of Facebook, I will now be broadcasting live through StreamYard. So I hope that part makes sense. So that's how you set up everything for StreamYard. And now let's walk through how to follow that same process or very similar process using the BeLive Studio. Now, if you use BeLive in the top left of your screen, you can edit your destination. So remember in, in StreamYard, we had destinations and we have those here in BeLive too. So I'll click on edit destination and simply click on the drop down arrow and scroll down to custom RTMP. So we'll click on this. And again, it's looking for the server URL and the stream key. So I will copy both of those things from Facebook. I'll go get my streaming software. Here's my stream key. If I click advanced settings, it will show me my server URL. So let's copy the stream key and I'll paste that here into BeLive. And I'll go back and get the server URL, paste that here into BeLive, I'll save this. So now that's all saved and I'm on the stage. So again, just like we did in StreamYard, you have to be live here inside of the third party tool. And once you're live here, then when you're back over in Facebook, you'll be able to complete those other three steps. So I will click start, go live. It says I'm live now, so let's go over to Facebook and it shows it's connected. So now I would again create my post details to indicate what this video is going to be about or what this stream is going to be about. Once the post details are completed, you get the green check mark and then you can click go live and you'll be broadcasting live into your Facebook group using the BeLive tool. We've talked about two, let's jump over to the third and check out Zoom to see how we set this up. Zoom, let's go over to my account. There's a few more steps inside of Zoom. On the left side of your screen, scroll down to account management, account settings, then look for in meeting advanced. Once here, scroll down quite a bit until you find allow live streaming of meetings. The default would have Facebook workplace for Meta, YouTube, and Twitch. Those would automatically be on. You'll want to check this box here that says custom live streaming service. So make sure that box is checked. You'll want to have this set up and you only have to do it one time. Once this is set, let's go back up here. Oops, wrong button. Let's click on meetings and I will schedule a meeting. We'll call this just my run of the mill meeting here. So I could schedule that. Or if I'm going here to host, I'm just doing something on the fly. I'll click on with video and I'll start this. Now what you'll see at the bottom of your screen if I click on those three dots on the bottom right, now you'll see I can say live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Those were already there. Here is now my live custom live streaming service. 
That's the one I'm going to select. And from here, I'll enter in that streaming URL and that streaming key. And you'll need to enter in the URL of your Facebook group. That would be something that's different here. So let me go over to Facebook. I'm going to grab. So here inside of my Facebook group, I click on write something. I click on the three dots live video. From this screen, I'll click on go live. I'll scroll down. Here's my streaming information. Click on my advanced settings. So I have my stream key and my server URL. So let me copy the server URL, jump back over to Zoom. Here's my streaming URL. That's the same thing as your server URL. So I'll paste that here. I'll get my streaming key. Let me go back into Facebook. Here's my streaming key, copy. I'll paste that right here. And now it says live streaming page URL. So this is the part that's a little different. I need to go to my group, just the group, not this whole URL here at the top. We actually just open up a different tab. It'd be easier. And here is my group URL. So I'll go into Zoom, enter in the group URL, and I'll click go live. So it's preparing the live stream. And as I've talked about in the other two, you have to go live first here in the third party tool. So here in Zoom, but it's going to feed over into Facebook. So this part, it does a little bit automated for you. So I'm back in here. It shows that my it's going to open up a new Facebook tab. Don't worry about that. Just kind of ignore it. Go back to your original tab. It's connected the video source. I'll com complete my uh, post details. Save that. I got my I have my green check mark and then I would click go live. And you can see it is a little bit of a delay um, from when I'm talking to what's being seen. And it's not live on Facebook. This is just a preview screen. It's not live until I press the blue go live. Now the other place you can enter in the streaming information, if this is a meeting that you have scheduled that's coming up in the future, you can click on the meeting that's coming up. And you'll see in the details tab at the top right next to it, it says live streaming. And because we've enabled that check mark, we can now configure the custom streaming service. So we can go here and input that same information and have it already ready for you. So look for the PDF document that I have that accompanies this video. If you're a person that would like to have that kind of visual step by step, that's going to be available to you for all three of these options. Hopefully that's helpful to you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me inside of the Academy. I'll be happy to test with you and help you out. Take care and good luck.